What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of GG Gaming. Uh, it is ju uh, not July. <laughs> it, it, it is August 22nd, and it's a Thursday. I am your host, Andrew, and with me today, I have Papa Gino's. Hey, guys, Papa Gino's here. And Apocalypso. Yo. Yo. So, um, today it's just us. Alpha, I think he wanted to catch up on... Uh, some of his videos for his channel um, and I noticed he actually started putting up some videos so that's cool um, so we're gonna do a short episode today because we're already recording late and got maybe like an hour tops last time I said that we lasted two hours but, um, <laughs> so <laughs> we're, we're so good about just, timing we're good at that <laughs> yeah. so let's just dive into it. what have you guys been up to well uh, I guess I'll go first. I have been playing the Dragon Quest XI demo. How is that? Yeah, it's, I haven't tried it yet. It's very long. It's like 10 hours long. Really? I heard it was the first chapter of the game. Yeah, apparently like, the first chapter is like 10 hours. Wow. <laughs> That's know. a good demo. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's the longest demo I've ever played. And they're, going, they're really going out, uh, going all out to try to... Get Westerners into the series. Yeah, and the the game comes out on my birthday, so it's like the perfect birthday present. Awesome. What, what date? September twenty seventh. Right, right, right. I know on the the Smash website on Heroes page they have a link to like the Dragon Quest uh, website, so they're yeah they're pushing Dragon Quest eleven on Switch big time, which is great because I've heard some people talking about it, so maybe it is finally gonna break out here in the West. Yeah, I would love that because I recently got into the series. I'm I'm playing six now. Oh, nice. So, um, yeah, but six I've heard is underrated. Uh, I'm already enjoying it as one of my favorites so far, and I'm only maybe seven hours into it. Yeah, cool. It's I'm, it's, mm -hmm. it's it's pretty weird. I had a dream <laughs> the other. I had a dream the other night that a uh, fifth hero was added to the hero in Smash, like as an alt. But in turn, we had to sacrifice the um, orange and black alt for uh, Solo. <laughs> it was a kind of a weird dream. Which hero was added? Just the generic. Hero? I I don't think I don't. Think, you don't know. I, I I don't I don't I don't know about enough of that Dragon Quest series. It just looks like some generic hero. Hmm. I would love for them to add more alts to characters. Speaking of that, if we get, if we get more than eight alts yeah. for everybody and got some extra ones, yeah. that'd be sweet. Just in general. Yeah, yeah, in general. Uh, last week I played the Dragon Quest V soundtrack in the background, and then to fill in the last, like, 20 minutes, I had the um, Dragon Quest Adventure theme from Smash on loop. So I would love to put, like, Dragon Quest Six, but um, I'm only in the beginning, and I don't want to listen to soundtracks I haven't heard yet. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah. Uh, Papa Gino, you played anything the past week? Yeah, so Just this week I general? tried... Um, the only game I tried that, that I hadn't played yet was Ultimate Alliance 3 on Switch, like the Marvel game. Um, it was pretty good, actually. I had some friends that I had played 1 and 2 with, and we got together and we kind of had like a, a little video game night, which I don't get as many of as I used to. Um, and we played some Smash, we played some Mario Maker 2... And my buddy uh, brought over Ultimate Alliance 3, and we tried that out. I played as Thor, because he's, like, my favorite Marvel uh, superhero. And, yeah, it was pretty fun. Oh, really? It was a pretty good game. Speaking of uh, Marvel heroes, did you oh, hear yeah. about you the, the Spider-Man thing? <laughs> I Sony did hear the Spider-Man thing. Breakup. I know uh, I'm talking about that. It's disappointing, man. Feels like everybody loses. Yep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I think it was actually Disney who who initiated it when they uh, said to Sony that they wanted more money, and yep. Sony's like, "See ya." Everybody's blaming Sony, but it, it's looking to be more Disney's fault. Yeah, I had, at first I heard people were mad at Sony for taking Spider-Man back, and then I think when more information came out, it sounded like like you said, Disney asked for. I think, don't quote me on the exact numbers here, but I thought it was something like. Disney was getting like 5% of the profit from Spider-Man movies, Sony was getting the rest, and Disney wanted to split it 50-50, and Sony was like, 
that wasn't the deal, so no, and so I don't know. I just hope they can come to some agreement well, because it's a couple of I, things. I don't want to give spoilers away for Far From Home, but like it mm, ends on yeah. such a cliffhanger, like you can't. There's it no way to just not, it does brush under the rug. Yeah. yeah. Um. But yeah, I don't understand. I mean, I don't understand the specifics of contract, but if they had a contract in place, um. You know, then wouldn't Disney be in the wrong for pushing to like adjust the contract? Or I, mean, I think it matters what the contract says. If the contract says like, you know, there's you could have meetings about it, or you know, it's up for adjustment in the future. You know, who knows what it said, or if they were supposed to have a meeting about it every few years or something. I have no idea. I also heard. I think it was in the contract it said that if. If Far From Home didn't make um, at least one billion dollars in the box office, that they would have been able to, you know, get Spy- uh, Spy- like Sony would have been able to take back Spider-Man, which I still don't know why that would be an agreement, but it made over a billion, so yeah. Um, so he was still locked into the MCU, and um, but Disney, they had I, I heard that it was they have five percent of the initial like day one. Um, I guess whatever Box money office or whatever. opening yeah, earnings yeah, yeah. or something. Uh, yeah, but then they, I think they might have a hundred percent of the merchandising. So, oh, okay. Like that probably, in the long run, equals way more than the movie. Merchandising yeah. usually does. That was always the George Lucas thing with Star Wars is that he had the rights to the merchandise and he just made bank off of that. Yeah. So it's it's kind of like. From what I'm understanding, is it's really Disney's fault. And yeah. I saw somebody make a post about um, they are the ones who pushed to keep Mickey Mouse. Like they, they like they pushed to alter the copyright law so that after a certain amount of time, a character won't go into public domain because they wanted to keep Mickey Mouse to themselves. And then someone pointed out, had they not done that, Spider-Man would have been in the public domain in, in a year. So it kind of came back to bite them. <laughs> yeah, I know Disney is a big reason why a lot of things are like perpetually being owned by companies far past, you know, a full like lifetime of ownership, basically. <laughs> that... um, so yeah, Dis- Disney's been big on pushing copyright laws, which I have, I have mixed feelings about it. I understand how creators should have control and should be able to make profit off of something at the same time it is kind of like you know if like a hundred years passes with this character eventually i think people should be able to just use it but it kind of just becomes part of our culture you know so i have very mixed feelings about copyright laws now that kind of reminds me of the the whole thing um that's apparently the original superman strips are now in pu- in the public domain oh so yeah you can, you can create Superman fiction based on like the first strip, like the first, <laughs> you know, first, first or second strip, um, and that's it. You can't have, you can't incorporate any story elements from any of the later comic strips because none of them are in the public domain. But the first, like either the, you know, strips the first one is for books. sure. Like the first one is for sure, but um, I don't, the second one might be as well. I'm not sure. So you could make like a a Superman comic where you can. Leap a building in a single bound, like the really classic stuff, but you probably can't have, like, Superman villains and later add-ons from, like, DC. I wonder if you can make your own spin-off Superman book from that and get away with it as long as everything in it is original. Yeah. That's interesting. I mean, DC, if it became successful, I'm sure DC would want to buy it. But. If if everything is either original or on, or exclusively based on um, the orig- the original story elements of Superman, yeah, you can make it. That's cool. I could see you do. I could see you making something like that, Drew. <laughs> Why me? Take take because the man of Superman and read it for book. us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should. He, he's gonna be. He's gonna be the uh, mascot for the show now. <laughs> <laughs> we but only do, man, we got only him. Only the first version of him, and then he'll just have GG on his shirt instead of S. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a it's like a Chinese bootleg Superman, <laughs> basically. Yeah. <laughs> so um, while we still have some time, 
Um, Papa Gino says, so you put up a video today, and where did you get that render of, like, where did you find that render of um, Gino? Okay, so first off, let me just say this is probably the first time I've said it publicly besides just, like, typing it places. Um, that render was found to be fake uh, a couple hours after I posted the video. Um, someone just okay. made it, posted it on a Discord as, like, something they were working on, and I'm doubting the person who made it threw it up on 4chan, but probably somebody who was in the Discord that they shared the image with saying they were working on it, probably just snagged it, went over to 4chan, and posted that. Um, we hadn't found we, it. Came, it came up yesterday, I think. Um, my Discord couldn't find any source for it. After I made the video and stuff, somebody showed an image of people talking in a Discord and the image being shared. That was, again, a few hours after I put up the video. So that one is fake, but it was posted on 4chan. That's, that's where I first saw it and everything. Well, that video didn't age well. Oh. Nope. <laughs> no, <it's laughs> that quick. Well, that's a shame. Yeah, I, 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 mean, I wasn't really believing it too hard. I really more highlighted it because I thought it looked cool. And I do like that Gino has gotten so many image leaks during this, like, speculation cycle that it just shows how, like, popular he is, how many people do want him. Like, I think more than any other character, I've seen fake Gino, like, leaks, like, this whole time. Even with all the little quote-unquote hints... I still think it'd be a shock if he was in because that means Square would have let two more characters in, and that would have been, yeah. that would be a shock. It's, it would still surprise me too. It would be it would break the spirit deconfirms rule. It would give Square a second character. So yeah, it would it would still shock me. Though there is this little bit of a a theory kind of going around that like like Hero might be our Enix character. And Gino could be our Square character because it's Square oh, and Enix now. But Dragon Quest was really Enix. I never so heard, that, that's I never heard that. I never thought of that, but that makes sense. Yeah, like, and the spirits we got, Square. the spirits we got for Hero were all Dragon Quest spirits, so they were all Enix spirits, not Square spirits. So it's it's a neat little little theory. Yeah. Um, well, I, have, I the also... spirits include Dragon Quest Eleven, which is now Square Enix. True that. But it's True that. from an originally Enix-owned series. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a little faulty of a theory, but it's something. It's something to grasp onto if you really want another Square character. I also made a new video. Did you? Um, I was, it was supposed to be a filler video until I was able to get a um, video about what Shantae songs would be in Smash. But oh, I'm still cool. working on the script for that, and I haven't really found motivation to make it. Because, you know, demo... But, um, I made a video about, um, I was going over every Smash stage and which one I think should be tournament, you know, which, which one should, I think should be tournament legal. Oh, cool. Or I think could be tournament legal. Um, now, cause, cause it was actually inspired by a Mewtwo King video I watched that, um, where he was basically lamenting about the fact that tournament organizers have a very small stage list and that... Pretty much everything is fought in either Smashville or Town City or like Pokemon Stadium or Kalos, and it just gets very bland. Um, I agree with that. And is it Kalos or Kalos? I thought it was Kalos. Yeah, I mean it could be Kalos. I'm not sure, but uh, I usually I'll, say Kalos. Like I, I actually I agree with him. I think there should be a larger, um, much larger stage list. I mean, maybe not much larger, but like maybe like at least five more, you know, legal stages. Because that would, that would I agree with that. I, I've allow, always wanted more stages. It would allow more strategy. Strategy is is part of the game as much as skill is. Right. Like me and yeah. my brother really like uh, WarioWare, but I know it has like I think a low ceiling, so people don't like it. But well, like you said, I think having the strategy of knowing it's a low ceiling and planning for that, I I, I feel like more stages should be legal, but that's just me. I'm not a huge tournament player, so. What do I know? I've never played in the tournament. I play just like local stuff. I'm not very good. My brother's better than me. <laughs> I've only ever played a tournament at my college, and I got to the finals. Oh, nice. And my friend beat me. There, Aww, there's a, that's there's, not a good friend. There's a friend of mine <laughs> who um, went, there's a friend of mine who um went who, um, you know, went to a tournament that his church was hosting, and he actually won. So he's he's I think he went he either went or is going to a turn tournament at a you know a, a larger tournament at a different church that I think is like in in Philadelphia or something like that. No. Um, he... And uh, so 
so uh, you know it's eventually if he keeps winning he'll eventually get a larger and larger audience I'll have to ask him about that but that's he, awesome he won like a tournament and I'm, I'm so proud of him because uh, I'd never be able to do that in my life because I, I know a lot about Smash like I, I pretty much memorize all the characters movesets but I cannot for the life of me win against anybody consistently online dude I'm like the same way I, I love Smash I'm like I'm a big fan of it I can memorize a ton of stuff about it I, I love all the games it comes from and stuff like that but when it comes to playing it I, I can get okay at it like my brother like I said is way better than me um, I just get I get steamrolled at tournaments. I can maybe win a couple matches, but I'm, yeah. I'm not very good. I mean, yeah, pretty much me too. <laughs> we're all in the same boat. I still love it, though. It does not make me not love it, and pretty, I'm yeah. I'm hopeful that my passion for banjo will will drive me to like practice and practice and practice at them and get good. So, if DJ get if good, Sha- <laughs> if, if Shantae, you know. If Shantae does get added to you know, Smash Ultimate, I'm probably gonna solo main her. Cool. Yeah, like, cause, I cause, my, cause my 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 current main is Joker. I I do play some other characters, but I mainly I mainly play Joker. But I'm actually not very good with Joker online. <laughs> it's kind earlier, of funny. earlier today I went to a retro game store. Um, it's. It's a retro game store I actually used to work at, or I, it was like a chain of stores. I worked at one of them, that one closed. But I went to one that's about an hour away, um, and they had uh, Shantae for Game Boy Color, like, complete in box, which was pretty cool to see. Wow. For how much? I didn't. I don't remember the price on it. It was in a cabinet, and I think the price was like, the sticker was like underneath it, and I didn't like lean down to check. Because it usually goes in the thousands uh, on eBay. Really, I, I don't know. I don't think it was sealed. I think it was just complete in box. Hmm. So like the, the you know the wrapping wasn't still on it. It was just the box. I assume the manual and the game were inside of it. But I think that um, even copies like that go for insanely high, like in the thousands really? on eBay. That that might be true. I I don't know the prices for Shantae off the top of my head. So maybe that's crazy if it's true. Well, yeah. Um, I actually, I actually beat Shantae and the Pirates Curse as well, but I was unable to get all the dark magic and heart squids. So I'm going to, um, I, I, I actually, I'm currently playing a um, pirate mode. Uh, I'm do, I'm playing through the game again with, in pirate mode. I'm trying to get all the dark magic and heart. Wait, squids. what's pirate mode? Pirate mode is when you have all the pirate gear right off the bat. Uh, cool. Yeah, so it's pretty useful. I would like to play that game again. I haven't. I haven't played it. I haven't played it in a few days because of the whole Dragon Quest demo. So Mm -hmm. that's kind of kind of kept me occupied for a while. So, Papa Genos, what do you think of um, that boss rush mode? um, I guess theory or whatever you want to call it. I think it it just keeps making a lot of sense to me. I don't know if it's going to get added with Banjo or if it'll be, you know, DLC Fighter 4, or DLC Fighter 5, but I do feel like a Gruntilda boss makes sense. Seems like that's something that might be happening. Um, so it would be the right time to do it if they're, you know, adding another boss. And I mean, it wouldn't I, be the first third-party boss. We had Monster. I mean, we right, had Rathalos. Right. So it wouldn't be the first third-party boss. Um, it would also fit the whole idea of somewhere like Porky doesn't have a spirit in Smash and he's the only former boss to not have a spirit. It's just weird especially when the like, you know, made up not from any game series bosses from Brawl have spirits in Smash. There's not one for Porky? Like, it's so <laughs> weird. Um, feels like he needs to come back somehow get that spirit there and if they, you know, brought a boss battle back with him, that would make sense. So, I don't know. It just would makes love sense for them. That, that would be an, a mode they might add at some point here. And if, if they were going to add it with Banjo, it would make sense if they're adding a Gruntilda boss, so it fits. You know, I would love for them to bring back bosses from, from Brawl that didn't make it in. Like, um... Rayquaza. <laughs> yeah, Rayquaza, uh, a, a gi- the giant Ridley. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know if they bring back Giant Ridley because he's playable now, but <laughs> it was a cool boss. Imagine if you play as, you could play as Ridley fighting Ridley. That would yeah. be, that would be the... <laughs> well, the it is like a different Ridley, right? 
Yeah, I think so. I mean, they're, they're always like so Ridley gets Ridley's cloned like and clones brought back. And yeah. I mean, yeah. that's also what that's also why Pyro Spirit didn't come back because obviously Ridley was a huge selling point of that stage in Smash Four, and now that he's playable, they don't have any reason to add that stage. Right. Well, they still had those little other features on on the stage. Yeah, but it's not really Pyro Spirit without Ridley. Yeah, my, my guess is that's why they didn't bring it back, too. They didn't want to, um, you know, have the stage come back, but alter it in that kind of a major way, since it's not... Technically, mm-hmm. it's not the same stage. Yeah. What other stages were cut? The Pac-Man stage, which I'm, like, really uh, about, was yes, cut. Yeah. Um, I know that one was probably because... It was on the 3DS, and if you got the, like, power pellet or whatever the heck they call those things... On the other screens, on um, you know, because everybody had a different DS. If you're playing oh, on the DS, yeah. it would turn the the ghosts different colors. But you can't do that if everybody you know is playing on a single screen, which you can do with Switch. But I was still just bummed because it's such a classic, like looking, you know, that's like the classic Pac-Man look. It's just a classic video game, very iconic they thing. Can it's bummed not to get there. The power pellet, or they could just make the ghosts turn colors on on the one screen when you get the pellet. I, like completely agree. <laughs> I wish they had just altered it, but they didn't. They, 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 the only ones they, that were they, removed? They can, they, can, they can have the ghosts um, be changed, but they have like an outline around them to indicate what player has the is is immune to the ghosts. That would be perfect. That would be the way to do it, definitely. Because it would have the same effect. It would just you know, not it would look a little different. So um, there were, there were more stages that were cut than that. Um, we still have books. never gotten. Well, we're talking about playable stages, but if we if we include all stages that even ones that weren't playable in terms of like multiplayer, we still never got the Metal Mario stage from yes. the first Smash. But that is my brother's okay, favorite okay, stage, and he is so mad. I think the music is in Smash Ultimate, but the stage isn't. <laughs> yeah. That's what stage builders for. Pretty much. I mean, yeah, P- Poke Floats is, b- is definitely a big one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Poke Floats. There's a few others, like the Rainbow Road 3DS stage, and I think yeah. the, the Wii U, one of the Donkey Kong ones, where the barrels shoot you into the background. Yeah. I, that I think one those were be cut because of Pokemon Trainer, because you need to have somewhere for them to be in the background, and I think the cards one. come at you, and going into the background, I think that's why they cut it. Well, Pokemon Trainer has, like, a little platform that he or she can stand on, so that's yeah, not... Yeah, I think it was about, um, like, like, the Donkey Kong one specifically, since you can go, like, deep into the background, they have to put Pokemon Trainer, like, so far in the background to technically always be in the background of the stage. I think that's why they didn't do it. Well, I mean, on, um, on, what's it called? Saffron City, the Pokemon Trainer is literally standing on one of the buildings in the background, so it's, like, super far out. Yeah, but, like... If you look at that Donkey Kong stage, they'd be like, like, like tiny, tiny. If, if they yeah. had to be in the background of the background, that's true. Uh, that's just my guess. I mean, I don't, I don't know why they cut that. I one mean, they could also just have that's them small. on a floating platform in between the foreground and background, and when you switch to the background, it could just rotate, and the Pokemon trainer is facing. You yeah, know, they could like back. throw the Pokeball beat like in, into the background or something. I, I mean, don't know. Maybe it's just hard to. I don't know they, the mechanic of the Pokemon Trainer, so I don't know they, what behind the scenes it looked like. They cut, to make the that Don- they cut the Donkey Kong stage because of um, because of stage morph, because it, it it works in two planes. It wouldn't really. Oh, oh, that's probably it. You're probably right. That makes more sense. I mean, yeah. I mean, isn't there a way to leave out, like exclude levels from stage morph because? I can see it just not being an option for stage morph. Yeah, they could have just made them like gray stages or something, but so far the only so far the only stages that aren't allowed in stage morph are player built stages. Yeah, so they could have definitely done that. Yeah, maybe they just wanted stage morph to work with all the stages, but I would I would have like you they said I would have just added them, but like they didn't want them from be, stage morph. They didn't want to be the eight player smash of Smash Four. Yeah. yeah. I think the scrolling stages also didn't return, like the one of the ice climber stages and stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah. And, like, Which I think might also be because of stage morph. Wasn't there also Congo Falls? Yeah, that one also scrolls no. and it gets back. No, not Congo Falls. You're thinking of um. 
Oh, what was it called? R Rumble Falls. Yeah. Yeah, Something whatever falls. it's called. The, the one that scrolled. <laughs> Something Falls. Yeah. It was Fallen. The Fallen stage. Now, Th Nathaniel Bandy was uh, rather um, upset about Rainbow Road being cut from uh, Smash Ultimate. Because he, he really loves that stage. Yeah, I mean, I like Rainbow Road, too. I I mean, I'm a Geno fan, so that always felt like, you know, it could be like a home stage for him or something, but oh well. It would make sense. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... I'm, I'm still waiting on... What is it? The Forest Maze? <laughs> yes, <Whatever>. same here. <laughs> that's the stage. That's, I, would, I would like... Uh, Xor actually the big sword that's like in Bowser's Keep that'd be that'd be probably the stage I'd pick and I put like the whole map in the background behind him. What are you talking about? If there was a Mario RPG stage. Oh, okay. Yeah, hypothetical, mm -hmm. hypothetical okay. stuff. Okay. You know, I, I I actually I haven't been able to do anything on on my uh, Smash blog because they don't allow new posts because they transferred over to like they transfer all the blogs over to something else and. You mean the core them, blogs? Yeah, most most of them, you know, they're they're trans they're transferred into something called spaces, and most of them, you know, all you know, all of them by default, all the ones that transfer automatically are disabled by default. So I haven't been able to do anything yet because I'm still waiting for the stu for the mods to uh, t to uh, re-enable my blog so I can actually do something with it. But uh, you know, back 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 when I was able to do stuff on it, I I would occasionally do stages. As well as characters and stuff, so that cool. was kind of the thing. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of annoying. Are we in a dry spell? <laughs> I don't know. I, just, I had a really long day, so I'm just like relaxing, just yeah. talking. I mean, like I can't, <laughs> I can't think of what what to talk about. Like <laughs> sometimes that happens, and I'm just like, uh, huh. I've I've just been playing um, Dragon Quest, um, Pokemon Go. I've been playing. Um, Did Jirachi finally... come out? Is that what I heard? Yeah, the the quest for Jirachi uh, started, and also we're gonna be getting um, Gen Five Pokemon soon. Oh, cool! They they announced Pokemon from Unova, so uh, hopefully that'll appear soon. We're gonna they're gonna make Mewtwo shiny and available. I forgot the date, um, so hopefully you get a shiny one, and I think it's also going to have an exclusive move, Psy Strike. Oh, cool. So, but I'm excited for more Pokemon. It gives me, <laughs> you know, it gives me I, either a reason to play. I don't know if you heard about that special um, special bonus spirit for Dragon Quest XI, if you uh, played the demo. Oh, or... yeah, yeah. The Tackles spirit or something, right? Uh, yeah, Tackles. Yeah. Tackles spirit. That's cool. So yeah, I, I'm I'm de I'm yeah, I'm obviously going to be getting that because I've I've been playing the demo for so long. So uh, you know, like a, a, a couple days now. So. Do you know if um if you play the demo can like, and then you get the game? Do you have to yeah, start the game over? Or can you move yeah. the information over to the game? The the, nope. the save file saves over. The, oh you nice, can save the nice. File yeah, there just continue. Because it's like ten hours, you know, they obviously would want you to start the whole thing over again because that's time you invested. So right, like, that's that's, that's nice, different but... from other demos. Because other yeah. demos are shorter, but you also can't transfer the save data either. Yeah, that would make me like not want to play the demo if I couldn't move the save. I'd be like, I'm just gonna wait because I don't want to have to replay it. Like... <laughs> well, basically, uh, you basically get a head start on everybody else. True. Oh, I don't think we, I don't think we got to ask you. Um, Papa Genos, what you thought about the new Pokemon information with the Galarian forms and and the uh, Linoon evolution of Obstagoon and Oh, okay. Galarian, and yeah, um, I, 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 I like... like the um, I like pretty much everything that I saw. I like the Weezing. Um, I'd maybe change I guess if I had made it, I might have made the top hats a little shorter and maybe have <laughs> changed the gas from green on his face to like a different color but the general idea of the design top hats being smokestacks with the the beard i think is pretty cool um what is it uh i'm forgetting the linoon final evolution's name obstagoon obstagoon yeah yeah um 
Yeah, he looks pretty cool. It's like a kiss design. I, I'm, I'm digging it. I like all the designs of the Galarian Pokemon. Yeah, me too. I, I like that, you know, Galarian forms is a thing and stuff. Um, did you guys see the... There was like a short video of like walking around a town uh, that they put out for Gamescom. No, I don't think I saw it. Yeah, it was it kind of went under the radar. There was a short video of just walking around a town in uh, Sword and Shield. It looked looked pretty good, actually. It had like a lot of depth to like the backgrounds and stuff. Like it was, you were still kind of stuck on the pathways in the town. It seemed, but like it did make the whole region look. Oh. Just the camera made it look very open, like it was a big world you were in. So that looked pretty cool to me. Well, thankfully, something good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was actually a little surprised, like, because most of it has felt disappointing. This actually felt pretty nice. But it did, it did also look like it was, like, the first town in the game. I know sometimes Pokemon, like, puts its best foot forward, and then you get through the game, and it's <laughs> not quite, like, the very beginning. Kind of like Sonic. Yeah, yeah, Sonic will do that. <laughs> um, so, so far... Well, no, Sonic's... For, um best foot forward is always some kind of version of Green Hill Zone. <laughs> Except <laughs> yeah. for Sonic Adventure 2. I don't remember what the first level was. City Escape. Uh, City Escape? Oh, yeah. yeah. There was some grass in that level. <laughs> <laughs> same thing. I know. That level just made me want to get the soaps. You remember those shoes that had, like, the you could, like, yeah. grind with them? Soap shoes. I wanted those so bad. My friend had a pair I was jelly. They don't, they don't sell those <laughs> anymore, unfortunately. Wait, I so haven't seen them in a long time. The actual pair of shoes that Sonic had, you could yeah, buy. It was, yeah, it was, I think they did. Yeah. yeah, Sega, Sega, and Sonic Team got you know asked by Soap to uh, do a sponsorship, so that's what they did. So that's why Sonic wore Soap shoes in Sonic Metro Two. That's what they're doing with the movie with Pumas, right? Yep. <laughs> hey, Sonic. I mean, Sonic's a good character to sell shoes. He's fast and he wears like high top sneakers from the beginning. Like, yeah, man. Like, as long as they don't get on him. <laughs> As long but, as he um, but so look far, like there's Sonic the real man. <laughs> so far, there are three games on my bucket list that I want to get, and they're all like within like the next three months. There's uh, of course um, Shantae and the Seven Sirens. Oh, when does that come out? Uh, October 14th, I think. Oh wow, it's way sooner than I thought it was coming out. Yeah, for some reason I was thinking like December. And yeah, then, I thought it was like either end of the year or like next year. And then <laughs> and then there's um then there's um. Uh, of course, Pokemon Sword, uh, Pokemon, probably Sword, probably, I'm probably gonna get Sword. Yeah, and, then, and, and then there's Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition, I'm really excited for that one. Nice. And apparently, if, if you bought it on Steam, you actually get it for a discount, you get the Definitive Edition for a discounted price. So, Bob Genos, are you gonna get Sword or Shield? Ooh, um, I'm like... You gonna get Pokemon Protect or Pokemon Attack? <laughs> I'll probably get sword, I guess, but I might, I may honestly do the like. I don't know. I'm, I'm a little torn. I, I don't want game freaks to not get the message, so <laughs> I might try to get it like used. I might like wait a week and get it used or something if possible. But I want to get sword. That's that would be the version I'll, I'll grab if and when I get it. I feel you, but I'm also still excited for the game. So that, that's. I'm probably gonna get it new that's my thing too it's like i am excited for the game i do want to play it but i feel like if if i give in and i just buy it you know opening day and stuff and the sales are huge and game freaks continues you know what they're doing it's like yeah you know, i gotta i gotta <laughs> i gotta kind of vote with my money here <laughs> a little bit so i'm torn if i can get it used if that if i can hold off that opening day and get it used a week later awesome if uh, a week later it doesn't or if opening day i'm just too excited uh i'm sorry <laughs> forgive me <laughs> <laughs> yeah um i'm I, I i basically just i don't spend money very often and so um i basically just have like i have a few hundred dollars just to, to do whatever i want with yeah. um probably well, i'm not i'm not gonna spend it all. i'm not that kind of person but uh I do like to get games occasionally, and uh, you know, once once I turn 18, I'll be able to have like a steady income, so that that will help me with my uh, purchasing of video games. Nice. Because I, I don't have any responsibilities at this point, like rent or anything, so why not just yeah. use, use my <laughs> use my income to buy video games? Hey, it's I as I use my income to buy video games as long as I could, and I have a big collection, so <laughs> more power to you. 
I'm hope I ho I'm hoping to eventually get a PS4 if I'm really lucky. Nice. Um, I I do want to get a capture card that I sent my um my mom an email um showing her you know showing her like a an ad like on like a uh, Google for a capture card that has like um works with the PS4 and Xbox Xbox One Xbox 360 and Switch. Which and, uh, what capture card is it? And the Wii U. It's only like sixty dollars. Um, but do you know the name of it? What? Do you know the name of the capture card? Uh, I can pull it up real quick. Hang on. I but, use I use an Elgato. I don't remember that. There's like a number and letter I afterwards. Think that Elgato might, or something. Oh, cat. I think that might be what it is. Let me look. Let me look. Uh, have it. A cat. I've had good. My my Elgato's worked great. It was a little. Um, I, I didn't like the program it came with that much, so I used, uh, was it OBS instead? But once I was using OBS with the capture card, it's been great. It's, um... It's an eight. It's an AvTech HD uh, game capture card. Uh, yeah, it has like a 10, 1080p. Uh, it says it works with, um... It says it works with Xbox, Xbox One, Xbox 360, PS3, Blu-ray, uh, DVD, Wii U, PS4, and Switch. So nice. Probably does like pretty much everything. I, I don't know that brand, but I'm I, I only I've only ever bought one and tried out one. So and I liked it. So did yeah. you? Get, what was the last time I, I used one? Some games and uh, just the capture card. Because I don't remember exactly when the last time was. I use it a lot of times for, like, directs and stuff to capture things like that. I just use OBS, but then it turns out very poorly. <laughs> yeah, I, like, I go through, like, a... I'll put up on, like, YouTube in a system and then, like, capture it from there. Otherwise, I end up getting, like, little ads on it and stuff, and it looks weird. Did you get any PS4 back? Yes, yeah, I have my PS4 back. Yes, I do, yep. When did you get it back? Sorry, what? You're like cutting out on me, I think. Yeah, you're breaking out. Oh. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Did, when did you get it back? Uh, maybe like a month, month and a half ago-ish, something like that. My friend actually bought a PS4, so she has a PS4 now. Um, hers had broken, she bought a new one, gave me mine back. But we've been trying to move... Uh, some of her save files onto the other one, and we're having trouble doing it through USB, so we might have to try to do it from, like, PS4 to PS4. Get the Google... I... Or, not Google. Get the, the cloud saves. Yeah, that was what we were gonna do, but, like, like she has an account, I have an account, so I guess I'll... I guess I can move the saves to the cloud, and then I guess you can get them off the cloud on there. I'm... We, we have to play around with it. We only tried the USB, like, like, this week we tried to move it with the USB, and for whatever reason, it like, the USB moved the files onto the USB. I checked it on my computer. There's a PlayStation folder that has it. And then when I plugged it into her PS4, it just, like, wouldn't read that there were saves there. So, yeah, we're going to try something else. We'll probably try the cloud next. I got it. Well, I... She didn't use your profile, right? She used hers? No, it's on... I think it's on my profile. Well, that might be part of the problem. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know if it's like locked to my profile or something, but we just want to move the saves. So actually, if anybody out there knows how to move saves from PS4 to PS4, leave it in the comments because I I'd love the help. <laughs> oh, um, I I got I got an um, Xbox 360 and PS2 when my brother moved out, so uh, I'm particularly happy about that because I believe um, Xbox games, like just classic Xbox games, can work with Xbox 360. Yeah. Um, and Fantasy Star Online happens to be for the Xbox. And since I think our GameCube is dying, if the Xbox 360 works alright, I can just get the <laughs> Xbox copy of PSO and play it on that. There you go. So 360s, and I will say this, the GameCube is probably going to outlast the 360. <laughs> 360s tend to break a lot more. <laughs> yeah, but we've, we've, we've had the GameCube, like, for years. Like, I think they got it, like, when it first came out, so... Cool. Yeah, I, I got mine when it first came out, but mine still works, and I, I think I've gone through, like, a couple 360s, so... There's, there's something else that I just saw um, that uh, reminded me that we should probably talk about this. Mortal Kombat 11 has 
the Terminator and the Joker as uh, playable fighters. Yeah, I saw that. They oh, look yeah. pretty. Uh, at least Terminator looks pretty cool. Joker looks a little strange to me, but I'll see him in action before I judge. Kind of wish it was the Joker from Persona Five, but you gotta take what you can get. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping it was. I like the Joker from um, the. Oh, what was his? I'm, I'm blanking on the name. The Mortal Kombat like games with DC characters. Injustice. Um, oh, Injustice. Injustice. Yeah, yeah. I like I like the Injustice Joker. I wish it was just him. That's what I pictured, but they went with like a very classic looking Joker, I guess. You're kind of. He looks really normal. They're, they're... Who's voicing him yet? Sorry, what? You know who's voicing him yet? No idea. I don't know. I don't know if Arnold's voicing Terminator either, which would be cool if he did. <laughs> I'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I hope he doesn't sound like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> well, but, um, um, there are there are several there are several people saying that they um kind of read kind of kind of read the um you know kind of imagined uh, Mark Hamill um voicing the Joker. So, I hey. If- any chance I get for Mark Hamill to play the Joker, I'm jumping at. I I love his Joker. When I read like comics, like that's the voice for the Joker I always have in my head is Mark Hamill's. Do you read yeah. the Do you read the Batman comics? I read some. I'm not like I'm not like someone who goes out and like is up to date with them or something like that. But I bought. I have probably ten to twenty like graphic novels I've bought from like Barnes and Noble of different Batman. Really? Comics. Long Halloween's my favorite Batman comic, so that if I had to recommend a single Batman comic, read the Long Halloween. It's really cool, really cool art. Good story. I don't think I've ever read a Batman comic. They're good. They're they're good. The good ones are good anyway. The ones I read, which are generally the collected ones that they push, so you know, they're they're pretty good. Yeah, my main comic that I read was the Archie Sonic comics and nice. they are no more. Aww. I read some of those. I had, I had a little collection of those going that I get from my like local little uh, general store. Had them all the time. Yeah, the original version before it was rebooted, because um, I guess a writer who claimed that um, he never, I guess, sold the rights or, or something about the rights to characters that winded up he won in court to be his. They like the echidnas um, or something. I vaguely know yeah, about. Yeah, but there was, but like there was a lot more than just them, and uh, there was a whole lore behind like the, the whole series, not just the echidnas, but there was a whole lore going on, and uh, just so many characters just got wiped out. And it's like, uh, it's like half cast, like could no longer be used. <laughs> so it wound up getting rebooted, and then eventually it was canceled. Uh, and it was just like. That's, that's like Sony and Disney fighting over Spider-Man. It's like the fans lose. Like, whenever there's yep. these stupid debates, the fans lose. I know. That sucks. Yeah. Um, other, uh, Hellboy. The Hellboy comics are really good, actually. That's another series I, I do follow. I've read all the Hellboy comics. Really good. Really cool series. I mean, I've been reading the new um, Sonic comics. Uh, yeah. IW. I like them. They're really good. Same writer. But it's just, you know, starting over kind of sucks. You know? Yeah, when you're, like, invested for years in something and you know all the lore and everything that's happened, it's it's weird to start over. Yeah. I mean, the, given the new characters introduced are cool, like the comic-exclusive ones, it's just still a shame that, you know, knowing that, like, this unfinished story just left the way it left off. It's just... Yeah, it's rough. It's a shame. <laughs> I think they were they were building up towards an arc um, where I don't know how familiar you are with characters, but I know there was Ixtus Nogus, and he became the king in um, Knothole or Mobotropolis, or I forget the name of the city. Uh-huh. And um, what wound up happening when they rebooted it, I guess they need to get rid of him. Um, I mean, he he was still owned by I guess Sega, um, but but just the whole story behind him and what they were trying to do with with the reboot, he kind of just like I guess because he he had visions of the the previous universe. 
Yeah. Um, so he was like, ah, the visions, and he like ran out a window, and it's like, there goes the plot. <laughs> it's just <laughs> like Jeez. I remember seeing. I remember seeing a picture uh, of like him jumping out the window and something that says like, there goes the plot or something like that. <laughs> it's like pretty much. Oh, but damn. you gotta, I guess. It's that's not that's not the writer's fault, like you know. I don't know if you guys watched. Uh, I don't know if you guys watched Game of Thrones at all, but the, the final season, there were a couple like character deaths and things that happened that did. They had that kind of feeling to them, where it was like, man, I thought a lot more stuff was gonna happen with that, and now it's just there. There it goes, done. They killed it, it's done. <laughs> like no more answers. They just killed it I guess all. Yes, I'm the minority of people who liked um, the final season and the way it ended my I issue was like was i didn't hate it again. like no spoilers but i didn't hate the general direction of it i just thought it happened really fast and there were a yeah. lot of um loose ends that i feel like didn't yeah. get tied up as well as they could have the actual contents of like and, and the overall direction of where it went i thought was fine the way it happened it's mm-hmm. just the speed at which it happened was like one you know you, you built seasons up to have you know no, spoil, no spoilers but um like one character in particular that i guess if you watch the show you, you know who i'm talking about like yep. took seasons for him to kind of get over and change like he had a whole character arc and he you thought he was going to wind up with somebody and then like at some point in the last season, he's just like, oh, no, I was always this way. And he, like, I just leave. goes back, and then it's like, where did that come from? Like, I'm fine with him in the end going back, but it's... it's it was just, in the same episode. Nobody. Like, he had a turnaround both directions like, in that I same see, episode. Yeah. It was like, we needed, like, two... That last season was, like, half a season, and it needed to be, like, two full seasons long to, like, yeah, get the characters like, where they needed to be, so... Oh, well. He, I think they needed, at the very least, a whole episode dedicated to that character changing his or her mind. Totally agree. Totally agree. <laughs> it, it, like, in the time span it happened, it was like, what, really? Like, it didn't <laughs> make sense within I, the I was, context of how fast it happened. Without, again, without spoilers, I, I was honestly thinking that that character was lying to the person he told it to in order to like spare their feelings because he felt he had a duty to go do something else but didn't want them to know that because it was basically going to be a suicide mission and then in the end it was just no no he actually had that great too yeah but he actually just had this spur moment like change of heart out of nowhere and i was like no he needed like you said at least a full episode to have that change but uh, and then the whatever character within the like i guess it was the second to last episode who kind of had like this change of just like going well if, if you saw you know what I'm talking about and uh, they yeah. kind of built up to it for a long time but it just feels like within that last season it just happened way too fast like, exactly I, I think it was built up to and that's what I mean when I said like the broad strokes where it went I, I agree with with this with the whole show but I agree that like we needed this season to kind of get that character at the like the edge of that and then a whole season of falling off the edge not a final episode it should have been a whole season of that Um, yeah there there were a few points where like it had forced that character into that you know uh i guess quote-unquote evolution but what i mean of like turning into what they did um or like who they were by the end but um I feel like it, it like should have been maybe a little bit more to really define that evolution of that character. Yeah. So like, and so it, just, it needed more room to breathe, especially just being such a long show. It needed more room to breathe at the end. And, the, and a lot of people complained about like the giant uh, war episode, like the giant battle. I thought that was the coolest episode. Yeah, I would. <laughs> I like. The final season I liked probably until after that. It was after that that everything felt like it all of a sudden went, was on playing on fast forward and just ended. And it yeah. was like, well, that was way too quick. Um, I can talk about Game of Thrones four hours, but I yeah. got to get going, sadly. Yeah. Well, I just hope that um, 
the supposed spin-offs wind up being really good. Yeah, yeah. I know yeah. from what I heard, they're going to be supposedly, supposedly doing a prequel series, and I think George R. R. Martin is going to be working on it because uh, he knows... I think he's, he was like, yeah, I'm never going to have time to, to write a prequel series because he's still <laughs> working on finishing up, like... Uh, yeah, he needs to finish the main series. Book. So I think that he, I think he's supposedly supposed to have a bigger role in the prequel series. Which, cool. if that's true, then that's good. Yeah, hopefully he'll be in more control or something. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, again, I Game of Thrones is my, is, is my favorite um, show in terms of real people, like non-animated show. Yeah. Um, and I'm still fine with the direction it went in. It was just, unfortunately, the speed at which that final season, you know, should have been, like, at least two seasons. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, overall, I really like the series a lot. It's one of my yeah. favorite shows, definitely. Um, but, yeah, the ending left yeah. some things to be desired. And I wasn't mad at... You know, if, if I had read, <laughs> I read the back of the DVD box, like a summary of what happened, I was cool with everything that happened. It's just actually how exactly. it played out. Again, too fast. Exactly. A, a few issues here and there. Um, it would have been nice to, again, have like two seasons uh, of that same plot, but like have it drawn out over like two seasons. But I mean, oh, uh, we were told, everything. we were told early on. If you think this has a happy ending, you haven't been paying attention. <laughs> yeah, uh, and I. I mean, totally that... agree with that. I, I saw, you know, I didn't think things were going to end all happy, so. <laughs> yeah, but, um, I mean, obviously that was, that quote was said in the context of what was going on, but I suppose, like, I never really considered that maybe it was talking about the, the entire series of Game of Thrones there was, itself. There was a nuance there. there was I a think nuance, it kind of was, and I didn't want to believe it. <laughs> and then, like, by the end of the series, I was like, Wow. <laughs> I mean, it did and it didn't have happy ending. It depends yeah. on whose perspective. Yeah, of course. Like, some of, course. of the characters who you wanted to have a happy ending did have a happy ending. Um, because it was what they wanted, not what you wanted. Yeah, that makes sense. And, uh, and some characters who winded up not having uh, a happy ending kind of did get what they want bef up to a certain point. So, I mean, it was good and bad in a sense, but, and overall, that's like story-wise, like, that's good like to make yeah. you feel that, you know? And, yeah, and Game of Thrones always had a very realistic, like, gray <laughs> morality to everything, not, you know, everything turns out a certain I way. <laughs> so, I, I, I always appreciated that about it. I think Apocalypse was asleep. I'm guessing he didn't watch it. <laughs> we probably we bored him I... with Game of Thrones. I'm not really interested in watching Game of Thrones. I kind of, I'm not really interested in all the adult stuff that's in it. Gotcha. That's the best part. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not yeah, asleep. Uh, I'm just inactive because there's nothing for me to talk about. <laughs> nothing to like, I was like when you guys were talking about Fantasy Star Online, and I was like, I guess I'll play Dr. Mario on my phone. <laughs> 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 Speaking of the phone, I think um, Pokemon Masters comes out this month. Yeah, actually, cool. the the end of this month. Actually, maybe within the next week. I'm actually really excited. Man, I keep saying the word actually. <laughs> actually, actually, actually. Um, it actually, actually, it comes out. Uh, actually, <laughs> actually, it comes out on the corner. <laughs> um, but it does look really cool. I'm pretty excited for that. Uh, yeah, I'll probably I'll give that one a whirl when it comes out. It makes me want to go back and continue Fire Emblem Heroes, but I kind of just fell off of that. I had a friend who played it. I never tried it myself. I'm not that big on Fire Emblem, so I'm not going to play See, a pro and spin-off game when I only play like half the main series ones. Un ver my very unpopular opinion is that Fire Emblem Fates was my favorite, so when I played Awakening, I was like, oh, that was pretty cool, and when Fates was coming out, uh, I was ex excited for a new Fire Emblem game. Then after Fates, we got Echoes, and like, I liked it, but I didn't like it as much as I liked Fates. Uh -huh. And so, at that same time, I was getting a little tired of, because I was actually spending money on, on Fire Emblem Heroes. So <laughs> I kind, I like hit a peak with Fates, and then kind of went down. And I have three houses, and I hear it's good. I just haven't, 
I haven't started yet because I'm on this Dragon Quest kick. So once I finish Dragon Quest, I'll probably play Three Houses. Um, I haven't tried I have Three one. Houses yet. A, a buddy of mine, I um, he, he got it, and I was with him the other day, and he was playing it. So I got to look at it a little bit, but I haven't I haven't played it myself. He said it was. He said he's actually really enjoying doing the. Uh, you play the role of a teacher for like a lot of it. You're like teaching people. He said he actually digs that. So. I heard there was controversy with the voice actor for the the male hero. Did they wind up patching out the new voice or in the new voice? Because I heard they were going to. I did hear about that actually briefly. I don't know. I don't follow Fire Emblem stuff close enough. I, I had heard probably the same thing that you had heard that they were going to, but I yeah. don't know if it happened. So apparently, what, what supposedly what happened is that um that is that there are some people who were um you know um. So who uh, you know were complaining about the fact that the um, voice actor was accused of like sexual like uh, assault or something or you know some, something like that. Um, yeah. And so people thought that Nintendo fired him fired him over that, but it's apparently it was more yeah, likely that's not because true. He, he actually violated an NDA. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Well, um, whatever it was. Yeah, apparently, I think, what, you know, that whole thing that he was accused of, apparently he admitted to it, um, but then apparently it was the NDA thing anyway, so regardless how Nintendo would have reacted to the whole assault, like sexual assault thing or whatever, assault, um, he still broke their NDA, so they kind of got like a free pass that, <laughs> with, with letting him go because they had an alternate reason to. <laughs> that's that's and, what happened with um, like Mike Tyson with the Punch Out games. Uh, he was like you know signed on for like the NES Mike Tyson's Punch Out, and I think if if I, I I believe this is what happened. I think his contract just kind of ran out, so they went with like Mr. Dream, and then there was like some. Uh, controversy with Mike Tyson. I think it was a sexual assault thing, actually, way back in, like, the early 90s or something, but the license had already ran out, so <laughs> Nintendo just didn't opt to try to get him back. So That's, uh, that. kind, of, kind of reminds me of the whole Michael Jackson thing with Sonic 3. Yeah, same. same I, don't, I don't I don't, I don't personally believe he was, he was guilty, but, you know, we could go... We're not opening up that can of worms. But <laughs> no. Regardless... Not here. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot to talk about there. Regardless, yeah. um, you know, People thought that, um, you know, it's still kind of unclear why he um, pulled out from, you know, active development of the music for Sonic 3. People thought it was because of the, um, because the, the, uh, you know, ch- child assault um, charges were being brought against him, and Sega, you know, preempt- uh, you know preempt- preemptively got rid of him before there was an issue, but. Apparently he pulled out before you know even the first accusation uh, came up, so it seems more likely that he was just uh, dissatisfied with the, um, the the quality of the like the audio quality of the Sega Genesis, so he uh, felt that it would devalue his work. Yeah, I heard that too. I heard that he didn't like the the like MIDI quality of the the music, and he was a big perfectionist when it came to his music, so I could totally see that being the case. That's what they want you to think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. I'm. Did, I wonder if he. I know there was like a Moonwalk game with him. There was. Uh, did did he do the music for that? Moonwalk. I don't know if he did the music for the Moonwalker game. I mean, I know his songs are in it, like oh, that's you know, true. MIDI tracks of it. But I believe uh, I. I heard this a while back, so don't quote me. But I believe uh, part of like his contract getting. Like to do the music for Sonic Three and stuff was like, but they have to make a Michael Jackson like video game or something, and I think that was all part of one like, uh, you know, deal with Sega. But um, yeah. I'm a- I actually um, I just got just got finished working with somebody. Um, we uh, he and I worked on a song together, um, in like a few like half hour sessions each, and apparently. Uh, it was like it was like a song that has like multiple parts to it. It was a, it's about a food fight in a cafeteria over a girl. <laughs> nice. And uh, I want to listen to it. Uh, when I get it recorded, it's 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 like it's like Smooth Criminals. It's specifically designed for a music video. <laughs> nice. 
Um, can I be I'll, in the music I'll, video? Because <laughs> I, I want to be a filmmaker, so I figured that might be my best my best way to get experience doing it. And I also like singing, so that that would be a good way of merging the two. There um, you go. And well, uh, if you ever wind up producing a music video, um, I think there should be like an an Easter egg table in the cafeteria with all of us. <laughs> it's just like the uh, bread and. Uh, or pop genius, whatever you, whatever you prefer to be called. Either <laughs> or, I don't, I don't mind. <laughs> I can, I can have Alpha like, a, I can, I can have like a, um, I can have like a like five second uh, Easter egg where I want like, like a shot where like I'm, I'm, I'm on the Skype with you guys or something like that. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, just I don't know. Small, like, that'd be, that'd be cool. Or, or maybe, maybe just like images of you guys on like a laptop or something like that. <laughs> and then we, and then we get, um. Backstage passes to your show, right? Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> I have to get famous first, but I'm not really, I'm not really, I'm not really in, in it to get famous. I just really like music. Yeah. I just. Yeah. I, but like. But still, we get backstage passes to your show, the, right? <laughs> the, thing, the thing is, it was a really, it was a really complex song. It was a really complex song, and he he said he told me yesterday that it took, like. Combined, it was like about two hours that we all we were all we were able to get the song put down. He did do some um, um what's the term? He did some uh, embellishment in in like on his own time, but he he needed my input for like the uh, um like the bass for the song. So uh, basically, we got the whole thing done in like two hours, and it even has it has like <laughs> it's kind of funny it has. Has like an, an an intro, you know, with like a the cafeteria's, uh, you know, all peaceful and stuff, and then there's a confrontation where I, you know, start confronting the the bully, and it gets gradually more intense, and then like it actually goes into the food fight, and then there's actually some point where I fight one of his, his goons who's like Spanish speaking, so there's like it's like Spanish style music during that part. <laughs> And I was and I was thinking of having like a um, Latin choir during um during um like a choir speaking in Latin during like the food fight part. Sephiroth um, theme. Kind kind of like a one winged angel, but like in like <laughs> the background. That'd be and, really cool. But like, I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do all this. I need like equipment to do it first, but I think it could work out really well. I think next week, next week I'm probably he's probably gonna help me work on a Shantae medley. Cool. Nice. I want to hear that. Yeah. Um. What well, what what he's gonna do is he's gonna use a program. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna download all the um, all the songs I want to include in the medley in like an MP3, uh, like until I want to convert them like from YouTube to MP3, put them like on a flash drive, and then when I get there next Wednesday, hopefully, uh, I can um stick it into his computer and he can download. He can put all those um put all those songs into like his into like a program that he uses for um songs for like his students and uh then he then he we can like work out what or what order we want to have the songs and how they're arranged and stuff like that and then we can um rearrange it ourselves for, um with like a keyboard or something so when I, do you think you'll have the songs um to listen to online i don't know maybe maybe it maybe ho- hopefully next year at the latest right, well you gotta let us know I want to listen to it <laughs> yeah my my band my my band name is probably gonna be jaded shades and that's the name I picked up <laughs> and then your rival your rival band will be the the the, the shaded jades <laughs> <laughs> nice. like your all your alternate universe version. <laughs> That's actually a good idea. I could have like a, I could have a continuity to my songs. Apocalypse. Um, what's like the opposite of, of the apocalypse? Um, I don't know. Cell, so, like salvation, like salvatio. Like Gen- <laughs> salvatio. Like, because apocalypse is like the end. Genesis is like the beginning. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Gen- Geniso. There you go. But it also makes me think of genocide. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? This is also kind of close you to You have to make, so. make it like gen- Genesisio. <laughs> Genesisio. That sounds like I know. But, 
I think we probably should finish out. Yeah. Yeah, this is very interesting. I was uh, able to do it, but it's all good. Yeah, I, I, I was like, well, nobody says they gotta go. I'm, I was like trying to kind of wrap it up, but open in case you guys were still around to continue it. But then, like, we all just kept talking, so it's like, I guess they're still on. But I think we always just keep talking, no matter what. Well, the recording is about an hour, so we still hit about an hour. So cool, cool. Um, anybody want to leave off anything? No. All right. I'm, I'm good. I think I said whatever <laughs> I was gonna say. And my brain is just not <laughs> yeah. going up with anything. Well, all the links will be in the description below, uh, and. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Maybe Later, we'll guys. See you guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Later. Genesis. <laughs> <laughs>